What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here and welcome back to Tower Defense Tuesday. It's been a few weeks y'all but it is time to get back on track with some glorious tower defense each and every Tuesday. Today we're going to take a look at Space Raiders in Space from a Two Stupid Devs. No, I'm not insulting, that is the name of the company, and published by Destructive Creations. Now, Space Raiders in Space is a wave defense roguelike, which mixes squad management and tower defense mechanics. Now, as you can see already, it has a wonderful, wonderful comic art style that I personally just absolutely adore. Uh, you've got a full story mode to play through, and then you got RN Jesus which is the end game mode that you would hit after the story. Now I'm just making my way through the story and I gotta say it's been super, super fun so far. Like I said, I love, love, love this particular art style. And in addition to that, it's got some really entertaining dark humor. Now uh, I know that there is quite a few uh, families that watch the channel and this game does have, you know, it's a little bit harsher on the dark humor side. However, uh, I just one thing I did want to note right out is you can enable a profanity filter in the options if you choose to. So that will limit any sort of uh, foul language that goes on through the story itself. Uh, let's hop right on in and just check out a map. Now, like I said, this is a squad management plus tower defense altogether. Um, I'm just now making my way in and we're going to go into chapter three, which uh, chapter three, I actually already played once, but I think it is a very good representation of what's available in the game. Now you can change the difficulty. Uh, I am on difficulty normal ish. Uh, the options is bro WTF and then too easy. Uh, we're going to stick with that normal ish playthrough. Now I kind of would like to do the bro WTF uh, down the line, maybe in a playthrough series on the channel here. Uh, let me know down in the comments below if you'd like to see it. Now, Oz, as always, the links to all the goods are in the description. So make sure you head on out and check out Space Raiders in Space over on Steam. Now, before we kick it off, I got to say too, this game full retail price is $9.99. From what I've seen so far, the game is way, way, way worth more than that. So super good value, even at full retail price. If you catch it on sale, it's going to be kind of a no-brainer. Uh, $9.99 for a really good-looking artistic tower defense and squad management game. Uh, let's hop in to Chapter 3 and get things rolling here. Thanks, bro. I thought those monsters were going to kill me. Oh. They aren't monsters. Not on my watch. What's your name, kid? And what the hell is going on here? I'm Jimmy, bro. And it all started when the evacuation sirens went off. I booked it for the shuttles, like everyone else. But I was wicked hungry, and the Galaxy Noodle was open. Bro, it was so good. Then I kind of passed out. When I woke up, everyone was gone. Then those things came. I saw you guys land. Now, obviously, with these characters and jumping in uh, midway into the story, you're not going to know what the heck is going on. But basically, I'm at the point where the game is still introducing new squad members and additionally uh, new defenses. Sure, but we're not going anywhere until we refuel. Heather rigs up a nearby pleasure yacht to siphon fuel into their plucky little transport whilst Andy stands guard. This is going to take a minute. Or ten. Then we need to find a place to hole up in case we have more company. Bro, it's the best bar in the galaxy is right over there! Jimmy gestures towards a loose pile of plasty wood and crass dreams with a flickering neon sign boldly declaring bar. Alright, so here we go. This is our map for this round. Now, the maps are not enormous uh, from where I'm at so far. Uh, however, you see the little squigglies coming in. Um, basically, our objective is to stay alive. So you have to keep the squad alive. Uh, the squigglies coming in are the mob paths, of course. And we've got 37 seconds before the match starts. Now, uh, let me go ahead and pause it for a moment. Uh, as you see in the top left, you have bolts, wires, and food. This is the resources that you'll collect throughout. 
and we will be collecting these resources as we go. Now this is a roguelike, so each different playthrough will be slightly different depending on the weapons and the amount of resources that you find. Uh, let's go ahead and start planning, planning things out. I'm super early in game, so at this point all I have is some walls and then caltrips, which are, you know, a ground trap. So let's just throw some walls down right now. Um, let's see, we'll just go one right there. We're going to instruct everyone here to build, and let's get these walls built, and then we can get things going. Top right-hand corner, you see this is uh, wave one of five. Uh, 25 seconds until the wave comes. You can send the wave early if you want. Uh, however, we are going to just wait it out here. I'm actually going to put everyone on a few seconds of search duty in hopes of maybe finding another weapon. Uh, as you see, we're finding resources uh, as we search here. Uh, no weapons. So we got five seconds left. Let's go ahead and stick everyone on to defend. Actually, I just got a sniper rifle. So we do want a sniper rifle now jimmy here who is our newest addition to the squad does not yet have a weapon so we're going to go ahead and equip that sniper rifle onto jimmy here and let him go ham and then everyone is in their defensive positions here come the enemies now and uh it does get quite chaotic even in the story there's a lot going on here uh right now all we've got down is some walls so obviously no other defenses uh, for wave one, we're going to be just dependent on the squads. Now, there is a large build phase um, or planning mode. Uh, during the planning mode in between waves, you will get a good amount of time to search around for more weapons uh, to repair your defenses, to build more defenses. Oh, this stuff just got wrecked right through, no doubt. So let's hope that we can survive this one. And we made it through the wave, luckily. So, everybody is a little hurt. Let's, um, let's see, what do we need to do? I think we're all good. Let's let everyone search for just one moment. Um, while they're searching, I'm going to go ahead and throw, you know, obviously I need to get my walls back. So let's go ahead and get our walls back. And hopefully we can find us a nice weapon here. We got 50 seconds, so we do have an ample amount of time. Um, let's see, let's throw everybody... Or here we go, we got a rifle turret, which is the unlock from this map. Uh, since I'm playing through the story mode, of course, I'm going to unlock things as I go. Uh, let's go ahead and get these walls back. I'm going to go ahead and put... Uh, let's go everyone into... Or everyone is into search mode now. They're collecting resources. Hopefully we find another weapon. However, I do want to get some of these rifle turrets down. Uh, we're going to place them just right behind the walls here. I've actually got enough for three. So let's throw one at each wall area. Actually, do, do we have enough? Oh, we do. We have enough for multiples here. So let's just get these rifle turrets decked out in this area and uh, let these guys get to work. Now I'm hoping we find another ranged weapon here as Heather is currently does not have a ranged weapon to use so hopefully we get a little search time in we got 20 seconds left i don't think we're actually going to get any search time in well there's a little bit okay now heather found a tesla rifle and i'm going to go ahead and let her equip it now you can choose who equips it uh heather of course not having a ranged weapon i'm just going right on it to, with her so uh heather now has a ranged weapon we got 12 seconds left. Let's get everyone back into defense mode, and then we can go ahead and get this wave started. So uh, here we go. We got some turrets down now. We've got our walls in place, and everyone has a ranged weapon, which is good. Now, when enemies do get into melee range, the benefit of melee is while a melee weapon is equipped, you can also parry some attacks. So that's a good thing as well. Uh, the turrets are doing good. It sounds like Heather really likes her Tesla gun. And it's got the zaps going on, no doubt. It's only wave two. It does get fairly intense, uh, really relatively quickly. So you can... Uh, they are busted through again over here. 
We got Jimmy is running off into chicken mode. But it looks like we survived through the wave without any problem. Now, first things first, let's get everything repaired. And then I'm going to get that wall back once again. Now, I feel like I could throw some some caltrips down to help out with a little upfront damage. This side keeps getting wrecked, so let's throw caltrips there. But then additionally, I'm going to throw some at the front of each wall. So let's let these roll, and then as soon as we get a little bit more time, well, we've got 50 seconds here, but we do need to get everything built and repaired up. Uh, as soon as we get a little bit more time, I'm going to throw everyone into search mode and maybe find a better weapon as we're sitting here. Now, I do have some resources left here, so we can do a little bit of building. Um, it looks like we can throw everyone into search mode right now. Okay, now here is a tier 2 Tesla rifle. Um, who do we want to give that to, if anyone? That sniper rifle has been pretty good, so I don't want to give it to Jimmy. It would be a direct upgrade for Heather, as she's got a tier 1. Uh, Andy has a tier 3 shotgun, though, that really delivers the pain. So we're going to go ahead and give this to Heather, so we will equip this bad boy. And then now you see that leaves a gun on the ground, as you can't hold multiple items. So that gun we're going to pitch. Let's just go ahead and scrap it, and we will get some resources back out of it. You see we got bolts and wire. So GG's there. We got 18 seconds left. I kind of want to go uh, a little bit heavier on the rifles, maybe, since this is the only real turret I have at the moment. Now, as you play through the game, of course, we will unlock more and more. Uh, I think that's more than enough time to get those built. And we've got a Tier 2 Sniper Rifle. That is a direct upgrade here for Jimmy. So let's go ahead and give him the Tier 2. And then he's going to throw his Tier 1 on the ground. We will scrap that Tier 1. And we've only got 5 seconds left. So we better hurry up here. Uh, let's just go ahead and drop everybody into defense mode. And here come the bads. So now we got a Tesla rifle, a sniper rifle, and a shotgun going. These uh, rifle turrets are getting up in there, though. They're putting in a little bit of pain. If I can, I'd like to be able to survive a wave without my walls dying. That way I can just repair instead of having to rebuild. And that's going to give a little bit more search time. Hopefully finding some better weapons throughout. Uh, you see our wave counter keeps going up as the mobs are spawning in. Uh, these towers are doing pretty darn good, really, though. Uh, the cow trips are just a small amount of damage, but it is some nice upfront damage. So, all right, we've got uh, that wave completed. Uh, let's go ahead and we will repair everything. That's going to be 105 bolts, so... Everything took a little bit of a beating, uh, no doubt there. But we're going to be able to get things repaired relatively quickly. And then I'm going to be able to drop everyone into search mode. And hopefully we find something else pretty good. Now remember, when you're in search mode, you're also going to be finding resources. And you need the resources. So the resources are going to keep everyone alive. Uh, let's see what they come up with. Uh, getting more bolts, which that's just good stuff. I got a bonus of seven wires. I've never seen that before. 26 wires. So I've got a ton of wires now. We could drop lots more turrets, but of course as... Oh, this actually m looks kind of decent. See, he's got a tier two sniper rifle now. It looks like the main thing here is the durability is higher. So let's go ahead and equip that one. Uh, we'll give him a weapon with slightly higher durability here. And then, of course, the throwaway we're just going to scrap just to get a little bit more resources back. Uh, are we going to get it scrapped in time is the question. Oh, and now we've got a Tier 3. Good lord. So uh, let's replace the Tier 2 with the Tier 3. We're not going to have time to scrap this one before the enemies get here. So let's just get everyone back on defense and see what we can do for this next wave here. Different weapons, of course, have different ranges. The last time I played through the map, I wasn't finding all these sniper rifles, but I found a super cool minigun, 
and I gave the minigun to Jimmy, and oh man, he was spraying it down. It was quite glorious. Uh, the sniper rifles obviously have the... They have sniper quality range, so they're getting more shots in, hard-hitting uh, single target. But the minigun just gives you that level of appreciation, I think, from the spring of the bullets. That's for damn sure. Um, looks like we are making it through this one. Now remember, uh, y'all, this is very, very early in the story mode, so there's a lot more in the game. There's going to be more squad members, there's going to be more defenses, uh, many, many, many more enemies. Uh, we need to replace a wall here. Let's see, so this is the last wave. Let's get this wall replaced. Um, I think everything else we will just repair. So let's go into maintenance mode. We don't have enough to repair everything. We can repair turrets. Or we can repair walls. Well, I think the walls... Or that wall's at 100%. That one's at 100%. This one is definitely in need of a repair. Uh, let's get these repairs off and that new wall placed. Uh, we can go ahead and throw... Andy directly into search mode and now actually we can throw everybody into search mode so this is really good we've got 50 seconds to do some searching um, to find some more resources we could throw down more turrets we've got lots of options to do uh, we're gonna need more bolts before we can drop uh, too many more turrets I think actually we may have found enough bolts to do a repair all oh we have indeed so let's go ahead and just repair all and that will help us get prepared for this final wave five in chapter three here. Let's get everything all jacked up. That minigun was so beast. I kind of really, really liked the minigun. I was hoping to find another one while I was recording here, but you know, it is a roguelike and RNG is definitely an element. Uh, there's no doubt about it. What's he going to find over here? A submachine gun. Now that's super, super short range. Um, I'm just going to scrap the submachine gun, although it is nice to spray some rounds. I'm just going to go ahead and scrap it as it is really short range. And let's get everybody in defend mode. And uh, here they come. This is the final wave. So this will be the biggest push here. We've got a ton of turrets down. I'm anxious to see what other turrets are available too. Of course, I do love the tower defense aspect of every tower defense game that has that element at all. So I certainly am anxious to see more of the towers that are available, there's no doubt. But we are getting it here. Is this wall gonna get destroyed? It's at 66% now. Oh, it is just down already but we are actually at the end of the match so we completed that one and uh we are ready to move right on along to the next but there is a look at space raiders in space from two stupid devs uh just launched on steam december 8 2020 so it is without a doubt a freshie combining squad management and tower defense in a wonderful comic art style roguelike experience. So thumbs up here to Space Raiders in Space. I am looking forward to playing some more of it. Thanks again, y'all. Have a wonderful rest of your Tower Defense Tuesday, and I will see you next time around. Take it easy.